Well, hello there and welcome. Well, it's six o'clock and we've got the most amazing, most amazing one day special. I am certainly in a happy place. I am surrounded by the most incredible fabrics and I've got some wonderful company for the hour. Lovely Jenny joining me. Hello, <laughs> Jenny. Fantastic to see you, Hayley. And, and just too. as fantastic. These fabrics are oh, they gorgeous. amazing. Now, I had a thought. Okay. Father's Day is coming up. Yes. This would make the most amazing present for Father's Day. Definitely. Now, you might say, why would my father want that? Well, he would look at them and you would say to your father, tell you what, let me make you some fabulous cushions, a fabulous quilt with the fabric I've given you for Father's Day. Well, this is it. So and you, you are going to get so much uh, made with this. We'll talk about the projects in a few moments, but the deal is on your screen already. Lots of you have been getting involved with this. We are busy, busy, busy. So you're going to get 18 American size fat quarters in the most incredible fabric. Obviously, you've got the inf influence of William Morris with all his beautiful artistry going yeah. right the way through these. Now, you'll notice there is a separation between the two. The reason being, we do have these available by themselves in one particular set of nine and then a second set of nine. But bringing them together in your one day special, all 18. And I think that's a brilliant way to buy because how could you differentiate? How could you say, no, I don't know, want that. I'm not going to have that one. You will want them all. In fact, I wouldn't uh, be surprised if you wanted to go for your one day special and potentially add in an extra set. Not necessarily, well, it could be a second one day special if you want. But if you're wanting to extend the usability of this by adding in an extra nine fat quarters using those details that we've got on the website, then you could do. But equally so, we've got all of these beautiful fabrics available to you in uh, half meter pieces. So got a lovely pick and mix that you can take advantage of. Got the most incredible fabric that you're going to be able to use for backing your quilts as well. We've literally got it all in one place. So enjoy. That is the key thing. That's exactly what we've got fabrics to enjoy. It, it is. And you know, I had 18 fat quarters. You did? And out of the 18 fat quarters, mm -hmm. and sadly I didn't bring the scraps, but there were not many scraps left. I have made all of it behind me. Everything so, behind so you? So let me just oh. briefly take through. Okay. Okay, so starting off with this little bag. Now this bag features the uh, Trirex template which we'll show later on in the show so Brilliant. that's one side of it Beautiful. and then on the other side of it I've got oh, just wow. a nine patch of the squares gorgeous right. moving from that to the cushion and the cushion features the half hexagon design so that's its front and I just couldn't bear to chop that fabric up I had to oh, keep it as one it's just like a scene piece. isn't it gorgeous oh, fantastic Coming down to the next one, I took the feature fabric and I fussy cut a panel out of oh, it. Oh, look at those dear. Added one of the others around the edge. And again, on the back, I had <gasps> to use one Classic of Classic William Morris, oh, yeah. So you can have it this way round or just think father will love it, either this Beautiful. way or that way. Moving on to the little quilt. Now, this came from the Foldy Roldy book. OK, yes, I did add the plane at the back. And we have got a layer cake on the show. We have. In black or in white, which will work very well. And that works its way through all the blue option. And the only fabric I needed more of, although I could have used a fat quarter for it, because uh, I had one left, was this one. I did have a bit extra of that one. So you might want to order it by a half metre piece. OK. Moving on to this. This is Attic Windows. And here again, it came from that same fat quarter pack. OK, yes, I had to add the backing fabric to both of them. And finally, this little bag here, which comes from the Sew Pieces oh, book, beautiful. has the beige one inside. In fact, if I take it off here, this is a delightful bag because it has three pockets. It has Ooh. one pocket here, okay. one pocket in the middle, yeah. and ditto on the other side, t'other pocket. That is clever. All right, so that's a really good bag from the Sew Pieces. So all 18 fat wow. quarters and only the fat quarters with the exception of the one where I did swap one fat quarter That's for so. another and one. Naturally, you'd be expected to be popping in your backing fabric if you're doing yes. something with a quilt yes. of a substantial size. But I think that shows you just the versatility of this bundle. And the key thing is you are getting them all. Now, let me show you one of these size pieces because they are good size pieces. And these are brilliant. Some of them have got seams on them. And I think this is so pretty. You've got that kind of lighter tone with the almost like weeping willow featuring in there. The fabulous deer, as you can see, little stream running through. So that is a fabulous feature fabric, just as Jenny used it in the centre center of a, a cushion take advantage of that it's almost too pretty to chop into well that was the difficulty I had I kept yeah. touching the fabrics and pouring <laughs> them and thinking dare I cut into them <laughs> and that's the thing but then you've got some beautiful fabrics with smaller prints so the smaller prints are ones that are perfect for when you're doing your piecing with you go how about I've only picked it up and put it back down and it's uh, how do I do that 
how do I do it? I really don't know. But anyway, um, you've got your smaller repeats here, the fabulous leaves, as you can see, classic William Morris prints, as you can see underneath there with all those colours and those kind of, they, it kind of intertwines, doesn't oh, it? They, they do. They just delicious they'll also work with your other fabrics they'll mix and match with your blenders so you know you could use just william morris as i did or you could just increase the range with That's other true. fabrics in fact i should be telling you the um, the names of these because if you do want to go for your half meter pieces you can do so um this particular one that we've got the top this top one this one is your brook oh these are going to be tricky ones aren't they brook small bro blush Oh, because of the blush background. I've got it, yes. So there you go. So that's the blush background. Then you've got your leaves. Now, these are beautiful. They've got that lovely kind of taup tone on there, that almost like a, a caramel that's running through those little flowers in there. Beautiful colour tone, this one. So if you're wanting this one, it is available again in your half meters. Now, this is your bramble in charcoal. That's quite an easy one. Don't mind saying that one over and over again. Next one, this one I just tempted you with. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this is your black thorn charcoal. And again, charcoal being the backdrop on these we have got a variety of other backdrops with them beautiful this one oh the rich berry tones that you've got it's in this one lovely that one isn't it gorgeous yes, now really this superb. one is your apple red and you can see that almost like pointillism there within the little apples featuring there absolutely beautiful as you can see um gorgeous fabric that's a classic again isn't yes, it that one yes and that goes with so well some of the other fabric but again you could put it with all sorts of things you could just have that fabric you know and if you want that fabric why not buy two of the half meters exactly yeah you yes. get as one piece very likely That's and you've got big bits and it's perfect with the two and the half meter pieces if you're doing your sashing if you're doing your borders that's where that's going to come into its own now this one this is kind of the 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 name of the the collection this is your granada charcoal so you've got your real feature fabric with these absolutely beautiful classic style with regards to this one and so many different colors in there that you could pick out if you wanted to incorporate a solid with this one so much choice your different tones of green in there the pinks in there as well and of course that gorgeous bluey gray gorgeous now the next one we've got oh my goodness this one almost looks like it's been hand printed yes, the way that's been done well, that's how he did it when he started True, off doing yeah. his wallpapers yeah. he, he hand printed every single design totally and got the whole thing in register so you know and these fabrics are beautifully printed they really are the, you know, the pattern runs straight you cut across them and it's it is to die for beautiful so that one again sorry that one is your bluebell in gold and yes you can see the little bluebells featuring there absolutely beautiful now the next one we've got a really soft pink featuring in here this one is beautiful and this one is your jasmine but your jasmine blush because it is sitting on that blush background we have got um, the same fabric um, a different kind of tones of greens but sitting on more of a bluey background but I'll show you that one in a few moments next one this is one of my favorites because I think as a, um, a binding because you've got such a small repeat on this one this is going to look absolutely beautiful those gorgeous little rose hips featuring there again on your blush and then I have to say we need a drum roll for the next one because this one is absolutely beautiful honeysuckle green I mean I yes. love honeysuckles yes. anyway I mean, that just by itself I mean if you had a curtains made of that yes uh, a skirt made of that a shirt made of that in fact Beautiful. any of those I really wanted to make a waistcoat out of them but because I was determined to use my 18 fat quarters as quilts I wasn't enough left to make a waistcoat but it makes beautiful wouldn't beautiful. it just absolutely beautiful so if you like all of those you've got nine different fabrics in there which are featuring half as your one day special but if you do want to go for an additional set or maybe you just wanted to go for one set then you can do they're on the item number on your screen and they're called blush because of the backdrop that's the theme running through those so that is your blush option 38 pounds and 25 pence but before you check out your basket do consider with your one day special it is through that 60 pounds threshold so you can spread the cost over two payments so you've got that saving, which means that it might be worth considering going for the one day special. So £33.50, pence, rather than paying £38.25 and getting half of the one day special, why not go for the one day special? Because you'll get both options, separate those payments a month apart, makes it very, very affordable, but you will get all 18 of them. Right, again, you've got your scenes with these. So you've got that beautiful scene with the brook running through it. That one is on your charcoal, I'm guessing. Oh, on indigo, it was 50-50, well, more than a 50-50 chance, but there you go. That's on your indigo. Then, oh, this is beautiful. This is your bramble, and this is your bramble in your indigo. 
beautiful again. It almost makes those little flowers stand out even more, doesn't it, on that darker backdrop. The next one, oh, beautiful. This is your blackthorn in your indigo. Again, that indigo being the keyword, being the backdrop with that one. Next one that we've got is your apples again, coming through again. Beautiful, with that lovely soft green in there. So that one is your apple green. Then you've got your granada again. Granada indigo. Oh, I'm getting the theme of this. I'm getting the theme. Absolutely beautiful. Then bluebell is it the next one I think it's the bluebell bluebell in your indigo but again it's got that lighter backdrop so again nice one to contrast in then oh the pretty little flowers these are so so pretty and this one is your jasmine with your aqua your aqua backdrop on that one which is beautiful your little rose hips coming in with the next one so let me tempt you with this one that is beautiful. I love blues and this one is absolutely gorgeous. And then back round to that gorgeous honeysuckle. But doesn't it look different yes. in the different yes. colour tones? It really does. And those, those blue ranges go together wonderfully, but the whole lot mixes and matches. Absolutely beautiful. So that is your second option. So if you're wanting to go for this option, um, I'm guessing this one's called Indigo. Is it that option of your um, your bundle? So your nine fat quarters in either the blush that I showed you a few moments ago or the Indigo, which is the one that I've just gone through. But that, those are details at the bottom of your screen. But most of you are going through the one day special route because you will get both of those, all 18 of your American size fat quarters for just £66.99. Now, Word of warning, early on in the show, the stock that we've got is it. So there's not going to be any additional stock after this. So if you want to get involved, you need to get involved early, whether it's for the fat quarters in your one-day special or in the individual bundles, whether it's your half metres, whether it's your backing fabric that I've not even got to yet. But just to let you know, the one-day special, 10% of the stock has gone. Now, housekeeping, I just need to tell you about that additional shipping. So with this one, we're looking at the 16th of June, but it will be worth its weight. It's absolutely amazing. You could even be thinking and planning your designs before you even got to them. But every single one of those, we have got fa um, the half metres as well. I'm not going to go through them all again because obviously I referenced them all as we were going through there. But every single one, whether it's a case of you're going for your rose hips or whether you're going for your jasmine or you're going for um, your granada, whichever you're going for, they are available and don't they look amazing? Absolutely beautiful behind us there. They're kind of the fabrics that you hang up and then you just look at them. Look at them and wait for that project. That's the key thing. But it's the project that will show them off. That little bag that Jenny was sharing with us. What a wonderful way of showing off beautiful fabrics as you're out and about in your home, taking those feature fabrics, creating a seamed panel and building up your design. Um, whichever way you're going for these. And incidentally, if you're going for two half metres there, you will get a full metre. If it's the same fabric, you will get a full metre there. So that's worth knowing if you have got a specific project in mind. 041. One, five, six, one. Now we are going to go over to see Jenny in a few moments but I must tell you about some additional fabric we've got which I think is absolutely amazing and brilliant value for money. Now wait for this it's 108 inches wide and it's two meters in length so you're talking a quilt back in one piece. Now not your solid colors which can be beautiful but in the most incredible print that is going to work alongside your one day special. Have a look at these. They are absolutely beautiful. Jenny, I mean, what can we say about these? They're gorgeous. Well, they are not only fabulous, but the great thing about having a patterned backing is that if you slightly slipped up on your quilting, it won't oh, notice. That's true. You see? So that's you true. can have a little bit of a hiccup and it'll blend into the background. So all of you who are really worried about doing your quilting, don't, because on a multi patterned background, it vanishes. Believe you me. This is it. Now, again, with regards to these, we haven't got huge quantities of them. If you like the look of them, you need to be um, quick, especially the top, this one here. That is the most vulnerable at this stage. The red, they're, they're all vulnerable, to be honest. 20% yeah, of the top has gone in that short time that we've shared them with you. And these, again, when they've gone, they have gone. Two flexi buys of £23.99. Absolutely amazing. Now, I'm going to take one of these. I'll, I'll give it a go. I'm only about five foot four and these are two meters so yeah it's it's going to be a challenge it's going to be a challenge so let me show you these now these are doubled over to start with in fact uh, if I kind of hold it this way and uh, Molly if I leave a corner on the edge there and walk away we'll be at least two meters apart won't we because that's the the length that we've got so it's going to be there so if I leave that there with Molly and I work over here so that's your two meter length i'm nearly on jenny's lap sorry jenny that's all right <laughs> but then you've got oh my goodness 
my arms aren't long enough that is why we are talking about this being the back you might see jen uh, oh there you go you can just see molly's hand show me his hand there king, she is king size bed because it's, it's easily I mean, it's, put it all in imperial you've got 108 inches one way and six or six the other way yes definitely so, you know it's, yeah. it is this is bedside it's huge Why and so not get two and turn it into a duvet yeah. cover exactly well this is it even if you're the most novice of stitcher you could literally just lay another fabric on the opposite side of this and stitch around it turn it inside out you've got the most incredible duvet cover 60% uh, of the stock have gone as this, this one. Is your arm aching, Molly? Mine is. Um, so if you're wanting this, the details are on your screen. If you're wanting the top, you need to be quick. But it's not the only thing that is very, very busy for. Now, we had some other fabric bundles. I didn't even get the chance to tell you about these. Some of these were literally down to single figures before we started. Now, this particular one, this one, technically sold out. So if you've seen that on the website and you thought you were going to get hold of that one, then just bear that in mind. Um, you could well have missed out on that one. Half me to pick a mix. Every single option, every single option is sold out. Oh, this is the Orkney one. Right, okay, sorry, I thought you meant the one that I've just shown everybody. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, so this one's gone. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's a pretty one as well. So, yeah. Um, some of you did jump onto the website. So these are the kind of hours where it's definitely worth getting ahead of us because we've got so many things to share with you. Um, now, this is another one. 14 piece. Oh, I was going to tell you about that one. That one's gone as well. <sighs> Who'd have thought they'd have to talk quicker, eh? Hey, me talk quicker. Is that possible? I don't know. Now, this is another pick and mix. I'm going to pause now. We had three options, had been the operative word. We're down to one option now as well. So we only have the seaweed. Is it, which is the seaweed one? Oh, okay. Oh, we're not too sure actually. Are seaweed dots? Oh, I don't know. We might have to check on there. I would suggest you jump onto the website and have a little look, but the only option that we've got is limited in stock. Now, I know it's a pick and mix where you're going to choose two, but what it does actually mean is you can get a full metre now, and it equates... Well, it doesn't, because it's gone. <laughs> I'm not doing very well, am I, Jenny? No, not, but doesn't it prove that this is such super stuff? And if you don't go for it now, yeah, it two is. seconds later... It won't be there anymore. Exactly. Now, we've got the details back on the screen for you for that one day special. How amazing does that bundle look? Already, we are only 15 minutes into the hour and 20% of the whole day stock has gone. Approaching, I do apologise. Um, so with these, you've got some beautiful fabrics. Each and every one of these you can get in your half metre pieces with your pick and mix. So if you're wanting to go for additional ones, maybe some of those smaller prints for things like your sashing, or maybe if you're binding, then you can add those in and you can spread the cost of these as well. Now, don't don't forget if you did shop with us yesterday um, for anything at all you will have a five pounds credit ready for you to spend and of course the first thing that you need to be aware of is when you're spending that five pound credit you need to be spending 30 pounds or more and that means on your first flexi buy payment as well if you're going for the one day special then indeed your first flexi buy payment is over that 30 pounds threshold so it'll actually drop down by a fiver and the beauty is it gives you an extra fiver to spend tomorrow potentially so if you are a canny shopper and by no way am I advocating this but maybe consider getting your one day special today using that five pound credit that you generated yesterday and use that five pound credit on another order tomorrow but you have to be quick with those items that you're looking at so uh, yeah take my advice or not is entirely up to you um, but uh, one day special is definitely the way to go during this hour five two one five Five, eight. Now, Jenny, you're going to inspire us in lots yes, of different I am, ways. Because I'm, I'm going to talk you through how to do the aft window one, okay. which was using that fabulous, fabulous. This wasn't. What was the design? This one. Is called? this on the honeysuckle? The honeysuckle oh, one. I was beautiful. using the honeysuckle one, and the greens, and that absolutely delightful little one with the little brambles on it. Oh, I think that one was just called brambles. Yes, wasn't it? it was absolutely super. Brambles with the leaves. But before we get there, just to say, if and when you open out your fabric with this lovely, lovely deer and things on it. This is where fussy cut it and where having things like acrylic see-through rulers means you can lay it on there and really get one of the lines on the ruler perhaps running through the middle of it and fussy cut it. Right. What it pays to do though is to actually work on the back okay. and do any lines you want to draw on the back before you take your scissors or your rotary cutter to it. You can still see the design through there sufficiently on the back to be able to cut it out from the back. So don't do it on the front and draw lines on the front because this is too lovely a fabric <laughs> to do that with. 
The other thing, coming back to this little one that I made the bag from, um, I couldn't. I couldn't bear to cut this fabric up. I thought this was superb. Beautiful. This is the Granada fabric, which is why I made that little bag, taking a whole fat quarter of this one, and indeed I mixed it with that one. So it was a, literally a fat quarter. And all I had left from the fabric when I made that little bag was sufficient. Let me just rescue it. Um, and incidentally, the one that you've got there, Jenny, is the Granada fabric. So if you're wanting that by your half metre pieces, you need to know that. Right. So this is the Granada with the blush background. Well, no, I know it's black, but the blue one was the one I made the bag with. And there is the inside piece that went inside there. Uh, incidentally, that needle is there just for a very quick top tip. If ever you're going to sew a button on, mm -hmm. the way to sew a button on the fastest is to take a long length of thread. So just let me show you how you sew a button on really quickly. So take a nice long length of thread. So I'm just going to pull it off the machine. Meter or so, yard, old money. Double it up. So take your two ends and double it up. And then you thread that through the eye of the needle. So we actually end up with four threads. Oh, okay. So take that big fat needle, decent eye on it. Thread the two threads through the eye of the needle. When it's done that, double it up again. Okay. Put a knot in it by literally either wrapping it around your finger and passing it through. Then when you come to sew a button on, you're sewing it on with four threads. That's and good it advice. is really, really, really quick. So you could just take the fabric if you can't bear to cut it up and use it for something like this little bag. Came from the book called Sew Pieces. But putting that all to one side, if I can bear to put it down there. <laughs> Attic windows. Attic windows is the design that basically is two pieces of fabric that meet on the diagonal round a centre feature one. Now, I chose to cut mine out as six inches because these are American fat quarters, which meant I could actually get nine squares out of my fat quarter because you, the American fat quarters are 18 inches by approximately 22 inches. So I could get nine six-inch squares out of it. I then decided to use a two-and-a-half-inch cut border to go round it. So I cut strips that went right across the fabric, selvage to selvage, across that two and a half inches. When you've cut your feature fabric, and as I said, I used six inches, the way you work out the size of these strips is to take the centre block, that is six inches, take a quarter of an inch off it, which makes it five and three quarter inches. I'm removing one seam allowance from one edge, so you just take a quarter of an inch off it. I have my strips here, and you must, 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 absolutely must, please do not not do this, is have your two fabrics either right sides or wrong sides together. Do not have them the same way up. It will not work. I inadvertently did this and ended up with pieces that didn't fit. So the easiest way to do it is to take your two fabrics, put them right or wrong sides together, measure the dimensions of your block less that quarter of an inch, so I'm going to measure five and three quarter inches in from one end. And I'm actually carefully using the end that is not the selvage end. Okay. All right? Start the other end, so five and three quarter inches. Now, we've got on the show something called the bias ruler, which is great for cutting your fabrics on the bias. It doesn't really matter which end you use. But if you place the bias ruler so that the bias is running from that little point you made down the fabric, mm -hmm. Now, top tip, when you cut out your strips for attic windows, they must be identical. So if you're going to cut lots, you must repeat the cut at the same angle. Don't just inadvertently do it like that because it won't be the same. Okay. I have learnt. So having done that, take the rotary cutter, cut up the edge of it, and there are two strips which will go round my centre square, and they'll be going in the right direction because they'll look like the other ones that I have made, such as this. Perfect. Right. Now, rather than waste fabric, if you now take this piece and you measure five and three quarter inches from that cut end here, mm -hmm. so we measure five and three quarter inches, there we go, and I put a little mark there, I can cut the fabric straight through there, and I will have another pair of frames for my attic windows. And this leaves sufficient to get one more set out. So this, I can assure you, is exactly the same as the first one. And when it comes to cutting the last lot, just consider how this one's cut. Look at it. You could either put one on top and use it as a mirror, and just take that as an example of, or, again, measure five and three quarter inches put a little dot, 
and you'll get three strips out of a two and a half inch strip cut across the fabric. Take your bias ruler, pop it on there, edge of the bias ruler exactly aligned with the dot, you just get it in. And there you've saved fabric and the only tiny bit you've done wasted is that. Right, when it comes to doing the attic windows, take two of the pieces and they're going to frame one side of your feature block, which is a six inch block. Now, obviously, you might want to get this a particular way up. I'm afraid that when I made the attic window quilt, I didn't pay much attention because I thought this looked equally good any which way up you liked. Join these two pieces together, starting from the centre and sewing outwards. There is a but. The but that goes with it is you have to start in by your seam allowance, which in our case is quarter of an inch. So put a dot or of some marker, and the quarter of an inch goes from the dot to the edge there and from the dot to the edge there. Underneath the sewing machine, and you want to start on the dot, so drop your needle down into the dot. All right, don't go anywhere else, just drop it down into the dot. Now, my machine's unthreaded itself. So, top tip, moisten the fingers and thumb, put some moisture on the needle, cut your thread at a 45 degree angle, thread the thread through the eye of the needle it will go through an absolute treat if you suck the thread the thread will swell oh it's a tip so isn't you it? wet the eye of the needle this does not mean bend down and lick it or anything like that because <laughs> okay. nobody wants to get their tongue stuck on the throat <laughs> definitely <laughs> jenny just while you're getting yourself with your position in there can i very very quickly draw attention to one of our wide back um, of quilt backings the top, um, which we mentioned was the most vulnerable, it has now technically sold out. So you may well have this sitting in your basket. That's our fifth sellout of this hour. We're just about halfway through the show. Incidentally, the red option that we've got of this one as well, um, that one is now, what was it? 60% of the red, oh my goodness. I will show you those all um, in a little while, but we're gonna go back over to Jenny um, with regards to the demonstration, because I don't want to detract from that. But check it out on the website if you're wanting those. One day special, incidentally, a quarter of the stock has gone as well, and those are the fabrics that Jenny's working with at the moment. Sorry, Jenny. That's all right, not a problem. So starting on the dot, if your machine does a tie-off stitch or a lock stitch, it's a jolly good idea to do that there, or you can reduce the stitch length. But if you can make that stitch a little tighter there, that's a good idea. Proceed down in orderly fashion onto your little thread saver. I couldn't bear to use a scrap of that fabric, so I've got a tiny bit of calico <laughs> here. Onto your thread saver or donkey, call it what you will. So there we have my seam, and I started on the blue dot and I sewed all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Let's see if we come up there on the camera. Okay. Take the centre, the feature fabric. It really matters not which side you start on, but I very often start on the lower edge because I can turn it over and see where my stitching began on the first occasion. Now line up the square with the edge of these sashing bands and you're going to start your stitching on the same place where you started from the first time. Okay. Do not sew beyond it or anywhere else. Drop your needle down into it. Is she getting in a muddle with her donkey? Do a few stitches on the spot if you can. Proceed all the way off the end. Let's rescue me donkey and stick him back on again. Those of you who don't know about donkeys, it's a way of taking the thread from one piece of work to another, carrying the seam. And some machines donkey. just do not like stitching where there's they no don't. fabric, no, do they? they? Yeah. Um, way back in the mills in, in time long gone, in fact, probably when William Morris was around, uh, he was an extremely talented man. Um, he was an artist, a designer, um, he a translator, a social activist, all sorts of things, and partly involved with the British arts and crafts. I've been reading up on him because he's Ooh, fascinating. Okay. okay, I've arrived on the donkey, and the reason why it's called a donkey is it carries the thread from one piece of work to another. Right, having completed that seam, it's just a question of realigning the fabrics, so realign them, okay. and I would now sew from the outside to the inside and stop on that initial dot. Okay. So sewing over the donkey's ears, all the way down, approaching the dot. Do not sew beyond the dot. Do not go beyond the dot. Stop on the dot. Don't think another extra stitch will be better. No, it isn't. If you can tie it off or lock it there, great. If not, just break the threads. Take it out. Oh, I forgot my donkey. Stick your donkey back underneath again. And that will be your attic window block. Oh, wow. All I would suggest you do now is when it comes to pressing it mm -hmm. is open the seam on all three seams yep. and it sort of squiggles round in the middle 
and lies totally flat. So I'm just going to finger press it quickly around there. So open it out down there. And you'll find the centre will just spin round in a little... They kind of just find their own way sometimes, don't they? Yes, there we go. And so that is how you do the attic window block. Dead easy, feature block in the middle, add your strips around the edge. You now understand the trick for getting this bit to fit any size of centre square. And this is brilliant because as you look at that block, it's almost like it plays with your eyes. It yes. looks as if it's very yes. three dimensional, as if you're looking in through that window pane um, and just seeing the dimension with that one. And a fabulous one, nice, easy one to do as well for beginners. Yes. So, Jenny, thank you for that one. Thoroughly enjoyed that demonstration. So, those fabrics and the all elements that um, Jenny's been working with, we've got on the show. So the ruler, if you wanted to get hold of the ruler or a rule, I know some of you prefer it to be called a rule, 20% um, of the stock has got £9.99, that 45 inch, uh, sorry, 45 degree mitred edge, incredibly useful. You've got it left and right hand sided as well. So it covers you for all eventualities. So 119560. Now we have been very busy for those half metre fabrics. I think lots of you are choosing elements of these ones, maybe to use, for your sashing maybe you should work with your larger runs of fabric because obviously with a fat quarter there's only so far you can go before you have to join it now the um, fabulous jasmine blush oh half the stock has gone i'm with you on that one that is a beautiful fabric good choice if you've gone for that particular one they are all absolutely beautiful it doesn't matter which ones you go for i mean you might be choosing some of the apples it might be that you're going for the granada which of course is the collection that we're talking about now this one is your brook indigo because of that backdrop that one again half the stock has gone of that one that is a popular one nice feature fabric that one as well so if you do want to actually put something right in the center then you can do the jasmine aqua this is a popular one as well a rapidly approaching half the stock and of course beautiful alongside the blush one that we saw a few moments ago as well so those are your half meters please don't think because we haven't mentioned the other ones that they aren't popular they are popular but those are the ones that are most vulnerable at this point in fact molly's just said i can't keep up with it we are that busy and that is the thing please don't wait for me to to give you a stock update please just think of the fact that we are busy and potentially you could miss out on yours just because i'm not giving you an update on the availability of something doesn't mean that it's not popular it just means that there's a lot going on at the moment and it may be that we've not had a chance to mention it to you but what is proving to be the star of the hour is our one day special it's working out at just three pounds and 72 pence per fat quarter now on average if you were looking at your very much your average fabric three pounds um, a fat quarter is a very fair price price so the fact that you are getting William Morris fabrics for three pounds and 72 pence for a fat quarter that is phenomenal value for money now they are American size fat quarters as Jenny quite rightly said so with these ones you're looking at is it 18 inches by tw yeah, about 22 yeah, something like something yes yeah, so uh, yeah beautiful fabrics large prints with some of these but then you've also got your delicate prints you've got your repeat prints like the rose hip there I mean the rose hip is a fabulous one if you're wanting to do sashing or binding because you've got that small repeat but saying that, even if you were using one of the larger prints like the honeysuckle, you're going to get multiple colours within that sashing, within that binding as well, which of course is adding interest. But the beauty is you've got a mix. You've got your feature fabrics with your large seams on there. You've got your supportive fabrics, which again are perfect for things like your sashing because you've got the width of that sashing. So you still see those beautiful bramble leaves in there. But equally so, if you are using one of those, what I would call a very kind of colour induced um, pieces there, you have got a lot there so even if you're only using the tiniest bit for your binding it really is going to be an amazing fabric to work with but i've got a feeling that lots of you will be using these not necessarily for quilting because you like jenny will want to show off those fabrics and use them in a larger panel in things like your bags and maybe even your clothing as jenny quite rightly said i mean these would look amazing as a panel on a shirt i mean mixing it up you could have one sleeve in your, your bramble and another in your rose hip totally Oh, and, and beautiful. They really would. I, and they're just such pretty fabrics. They and are. you know, we need something pretty in life. We need something that's just beautiful and gentle and peaceful. And, and that's it. Just well, this is it. All. We do. It, it is, it's kind of like one of those indulgences, isn't it? Sometimes when you, I know we can make a coffee at home and we can enjoy a coffee at home, but there's something a little bit different about going out and enjoying a coffee outside somewhere, yes. a fancy yes. uh, coffee. And that's what you've got with the fabrics. Sewing is always so pleasurable, but even more so when you're working with beautiful fabrics like the ones that we're looking at here. 521558, rapidly approaching a third of the stock has gone. And please don't think to yourself, I'm only a novice sewer. 
I, I'm not, not almost, it's almost like I'm not worthy of working with fabrics like these. Please do not put yourself in that category. Sewing is one of those sciences that isn't that complicated when you strip it back. A lot of the time you're looking at straight seams and of course with Jenny's guidance and tuition, she's giving you all the hints and tips. Follow that guidance, use the rulers that she's referring to in the books which we're coming on to and you will be able to create amazing things whether you are a novice sewer or you are a very accomplished sewer. So please do not consider yourself not worthy of these fabrics everybody is worthy of these very quick update for something else for you as well we're just bringing the details up on the screen now you can get them in your two options this is kind of where you, your one day special comes from so you've got your blush being this particular option so if you're wanting to you can go for those and you'll get your nine fat quarters absolutely beautiful as you can see that is your blush option the other option that you've got if you're wanting to go for is your indigo this has got the darker background perhaps more of a bluey hue to this particular collection so you can go for them by the yourselves but bear in mind your flexi buy on your one day special is actually less than the 38 pounds and 25p you were just looking at so you're actually going to be paying around eight pounds and 20 pence less by going for the complete bundle if you are going for these and you're making that first flexi buy payment. And I think personally, what you will find is if you are just ordering one of these, when they come through to you, you will wish that you'd gone for the whole collection. I think it's one of the things, but sadly it'll be too late to change your mind at that point. It will have gone up in price if we've got them available. So take advantage while you can. And as I say, spread that cost over two payments if you so choose. Um, now the wide quilt backing. Can I give you a very quick update with regards to these? We've already lost one of the options. We lost the top. The red was vulnerable, if I remember rightly. Um, so red is now two thirds of the stock has gone these are beautiful don't forget these fabrics are two meters wide by 108 sorry two meters long by 108 inches wide so you're looking at a king size quilt size piece of fabric so this could be backing your fabric and um, backing your quilt if you wanted to but equally so it looks so beautiful you could be using it on your front of your quilt as well so there you go i'll leave those details with you but please be quick especially if it's the red that you're going for because that one is proving to be absolutely phenomenally busy so two seven three nine three one if you want in those oh jenny it's such a pleasure doing a show with fabrics like this isn't, isn't it, it? well the red will go remarkably well with the fabric i have in front of me oh this okay one. lovely that, that red oh background. now that one's the apples yes. isn't the apples with the, the red yeah really yeah. go very well with that so if you're thinking about putting on the front and piecing with it you could mix this one and indeed of course you could then mix this little one and that little one will go in with it so the design i have in front of me is this is a bag i made up using the trirex templates so i use Use these colors on the front and because I was using only the fat quarters I used that one on the back and indeed as I was only using fat quarters like my bindings are made out of literally small pieces that I had left but when it comes to doing the 5440 fight or flight which is very often the name that's given to this particular design there are a set of templates that make life very much easier and that is the Trirex tools. Now they are two triangles. One triangle does the center of the block and one triangle does the two corners. Now this is not a 60 degree one. So please, please, please do not think this is a 60 degree shape. It isn't. Okay. Um, it just happens to be the shape that it is because basically it's a triangle that is, comes from a square. If you were to take a square and you put the midpoint in the top of the square and you drop lines down from the midpoint on one side of the square to the corners that will give you this template it is not 60 degrees so please don't think it is because okay. it is 60 your designs will not fit okay the trirex tool i first came to when i had to go and demonstrate in italy and i was looking at this smaller triangle and a bit puzzled as to why there was a little bit missing on the corner oh, yes. and it was explained to me and shown to me how amazingly well it will does make your piecing and I don't speak Italian, but I was able to say to all the Italian people who came up that this was molto importante. Ooh. And, oh, yeah, well, I only know bellissimo and pizza. Well, there you so go, that now. wouldn't have been very impressive, importante. would it? <laughs> so allow me to show you why it is molto importante. You will have to have your fabric that you've chosen folded in half. Right, I'm just going to trim the end off so I've got a nice level end. I'm working with a four and a half inch strip and this like so many of the easy quilting templates is multi sizes so lay your template on the top there align the edge of the fabric with the four and a half inches go up the side of the template pushing away from you and just turn your hand and cut that little corner off molto importante 
taking the other template which makes the center of the block and here is a completed block then this is just the same thing is lay the template on top align the four and a half inch line with I don't know why there's a bit of I think it's come from one of the quilt labels <laughs> um, align the four and a half inch line on the template with one side of the strip and cut once you cut one side flip the fabric over and this works for both right-handed or left-handed people and cut up to the side right now you'll see why it is molto importante one piece is going to go one side and one piece is going to go on the other side okay you soon find out when you've got them in the wrong place turn it over and because of that little bit that's missing at the bottom it actually fits a real treat ah, here, you yes. see? So you get a pointy bit hanging out at the top and it fits flush there and that is your seam allowance. So all you need to do is sew down the side, starting here, quarter an inch, off the other end. So back to the good old sewing machine. I love over that. Over donkey's ears, all the way down here. Now, what you can always do if you're concerned about the fabric moving is to use a pair of scissors slightly open just up to the machine and under. Remove the scissors before the needle hits them because otherwise you might have a bit of a disaster. Right, back onto donkeys, back again and cut. So as you can see, my quarter of an inch has taken me exactly down to that point there. Once you've done that, I am afraid I'm a seams open and flatter person. I will open the seams and I will add the other piece on the other side in exactly the same way. Little bit hanging off the bottom there. This time I will probably go up that side. When you've done that, you'll end up with a shape that looks like this. Oh, I'm so kidding. to make the design I had in front of you, and this was in fact using a slightly bigger template. I used five and a half inch strips for this one. But to make that design, you need four of these. So four of these. One, two, three, four. I'm going to show you how you can do storm at sea as well with this particular design. And I had it so that the starry bits went to the middle there. The centre could just be a plain four and a half inch square because these are four and a half inch blocks. See? Yeah. And then the corners are literally two and a half inch squares stitched together. And the oh, reason why okay. they're two and a half inch squares is this is technically a four inch finished block mm -hmm. when you've done all the stitching. Yes. So it's four inch finished. Half of four is two. So these have to be two inches finished. Remember, we then add on half an inch seam allowance. So that makes your corners, and I have mine round this way. Now, you might say to yourself, OK, I don't want to do that design. Could I change it? Well, of course you can change it. You could have turned these bits around this way. How do you want it to? And if you wanted to do something a little bit grander, how about going for Storm at Sea, which is where you make eight of these and they get put together like this. Now, Jenny, you're mentioning all these different formations and how they come together. Now, do we get any instruction with the rule to help us create with these or where there do we is, learn about uh, them? If you go online, you will find there are various helpful things. I did a whole series of videos for the company which are available online. Wonderful. So if you literally put in Trirex, you will either find myself pontificating about it or there will be a another person doing exactly the same thing. So it's all there. Wonderful. Thank right. you. Your middle could be done with another template we've had many times on the show, the Easy Angle Half Square Triangle. And we'll demonstrate that sometime in the next, if not tonight, tomorrow shows. Okay. So this could be the middle, because I can take these and I could arrange them like this. And then the corners. Now the corners are blocks made comsa. And I'll come to this in just a second, because there's something interesting you need to know about these corners. If you look carefully at the design now, you should be able to see beginnings of a circle going round. Yes. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to doing the corners, a seriously easy way of doing it is this. It's a four inch finished, so you cut a four and a half inch square. Right, four and a half inch square. If you then cut four two and a half inch squares, and what you do with those, it going to waste a fraction of fabric, and believe you me, this hurt, particularly with this lovely fabric, is on the back, you draw one diagonal line from corner to corner using any pen, pencil you happen to fancy. And this one's not going to work because I haven't opened it up. It always helps if you open the <laughs> pen up. 
What you do then is you place one of these onto each of the four corners and I would do opposite corners first, stitch it on and then it gets opened out and you do the same thing on the other corner and then you repeat there and there. So if we look at this one, my squares are on all of the corners stitched okay. on on the drawn line. Mm -hmm. Then all you simply do is cut away the excess fabric. Okay. You could, and there's a sneaky trick you could do, is if you were to stitch another line of stitch and just allow me to do it, this is where you save fabric, the line of stitch has to be about three-eighths of an inch away from that first line. Okay. That's a centimetre. When you've done that, you could actually save that scrap of fabric. And this is where my frugal nature comes in, <laughs> is to save I love things. it because we're all learning from Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Where's the one I stitched it? lost it now there it is and then very carefully cut up between the two okay keep? so between the two stitch lines between right the two stitch keeping lines. that the flap out the way i'm guessing yeah, keeping yeah. the flap out the way because you want that corner yeah then you'll end up with a little square <gasps> no Can you see oh wow so you could save all those so basically the corner of this design was done by taking a four and a half inch square and adding a two and a half inch square to each of the four corners. Do opposite corners first. Now the advantage of doing it this way is that this centre square is on the right grain. Had ah. I cut this out that away, you'd have ended up with something that stretched badly. But right. because I cut it out as straight grain, mm -hmm. it remains a nice solid unit. And one last top tip before I allow you to go back to Haley is when you come to press these back. What it actually helps in the pressing is to open it out and press it in the middle there first. Okay. Get it nice and flat and then cut the excess fabric off after you've pressed it again. And just make sure you don't cut the top flap off because yes. if you do, you will be in trouble because you won't have a corner. So there you go. That's a Trirex template. You could do 5440 fight or flight. You could make storm at sea, but you can play with the materials. I love it. Jenny, thank you so much. And the beauty is, as Jenny's quite rightly said, with the one day special, those fabrics all work so beautifully together. You could choose any of these as a combination and you will get an incredible result because they're all from that same collection, the Granada collection. But you need to be aware of just how busy we are. You're going to get your two fat piece and uh, fat quarter piece bundles in there, giving you 18 pieces in total. They are separated in two sets of nine. So if you do want to go for them as they are, as sets of nine, then you can do. But the biggest saving is with your one day special that's where you're saving nine pounds and 80 pence it also means that you're getting a lower price to start with so 33 pounds and 50 pence is your first flexi buy delivered to your door if you're a freedom member if you have a look at the bottom of your screen if you're just going for one of these selections you're actually paying 30 um, eight pounds and 25 pence so it's actually that initial payment is going to be lower if you're going with your one day special now of course you will have your second payment that will come out in a month's time um, which is going to be at the end of the month it's the 30th today isn't which can be payday for a lot of people so that might be worth a consideration so you possibly have just been paid ready for the next payment to go out but you are going to get 18 absolutely incredibly beautiful fabrics all from that Granada collection now the bundle that we've got for you here is exclusive to us here at the craft store so if you do want to get hold of it and you are thinking oh yeah I'm going to go and have a little look at that one I'm going to do a little bit of research and I will come back you will not find this as a collection together so just bear that in mind and it's been a very very, very popular one as well. Now the half meter fabrics that we have got marry up perfectly with these so any of those that you've been looking at then you can shop online and get hold of those as well it's potentially the easiest way for you to find them we went through all of the names at the top of the hour sadly we don't have enough time to go through them all again but you've got some beautiful scenes with regards to these so the brook small in blush we've got that one we've also got it with an indigo backdrop you've got your granada there with your charcoal um, you've got some beautiful um, designs as you can see there they're all from that same range so the beauty is whichever ones you go for they're going to work with you one day special now why would you want the half meter pieces well maybe you're going to be doing some sashing so consider that with regards to the fabrics that you've got go for something that's non not particularly directional so something like the um, the indigo rose hip that you've got there the jasmine and aqua all of those with the small repeats are perfect when you are looking at doing those sashings but 
this is one of the most beautiful fabrics this is your small brook and it's your blush option of this one it's come from um, your pick and mix and this is one of the ones that you could be choosing shows you the size of that fabric so you've got a half meter piece and you can see all that incredible detail now as you look at this you will see the little elements that are featuring within the fat quarter pieces you'll notice the jasmine you'll notice the fabulous little brambles featuring in here as well all of those colors from that palette are echoed within your one day special which means that any any fabrics you choose to work alongside this are going to be beautiful now you might want a larger piece of this particular one because of the seams that you've got on there maybe you're wanting to use them as a center of your block maybe you're wanting to use it as a cushion in its own right you can do we're talking about lots of quilting scenarios but you don't have to cut into these fabrics sometimes it's a bit of a travesty if you do so I would certainly take some of these with the larger prints and use them as your main feature simply turn it into a cushion cover just as is square Square on the front, envelope back on the back if you wanted to. You don't even need to use these fabrics for your backs if you don't want to. I probably wouldn't, to be honest, because I'm a bit frugal in that respect. But if you do want to, you can do. Now, we've had a lovely email in from Lou. So thank you, Lou, for being a part of it. Now, Lou um, hasn't been sewing for probably around 10 years. And she's turned to paper craft as we regularly do we kind of dip in and out don't we um, but uh, we've got a bit of a, a kind of a, a, a falling back in love back of a falling in love with sewing so she had to go for the one day special um, you are brilliant and you bought from Marion crafts this morning as well it's a slippery slope a slippery slope. Oh, do make sure that you are getting involved um, and sharing with us what you're making as well don't forget as well um, and what was the reference to sewing machines there She's going to sit on her hands there um, to get a sewing machine that will work with the, oh well, well she, she's talking about getting a sewing machine that will do William Morris fabrics justice but you don't need a fancy pants you machine do, do you? you not need no, a fancy you no, no you don't you could do it all by <gasps> that four letter word that begins with an h and ends in a d with two other letters in the middle hand. you're not talking about stitching by hand i am indeed oh strike me down <laughs> <laughs> But please, please do not think that you have to invest in a, a big machine. My mum, when I built my first sewing machine, she said all you need is a straight stitch. If you can, one that's got um, a reverse on it, because that helps with your kind of beginnings and the ends of your seams. And a zigzag is always useful. I don't tend to use zigzag an awful lot, to be honest. But a straight stitch and, as I say, a forward and reverse, that's all you need, in my opinion, for a You're sewing machine. You're absolutely so right. You do not need a fancy one. I mean, the one that I have beside me, relatively fancy. What do I use on it? I use straight stitch and zigzag. Yeah, that's the occasional, true. The yeah. occasional, occasional pattern. You do not need anything fancy at all. Just a regular, even doing it by hand sewing machine, turning the wheel the treadle all you want is something that will put a stitch through fabric so it could be by hand it could be on the lowest smallest tiniest weeniest sewing machine what you're doing is working with the fabulous fabric. It's the fabric that does the job now very quickly before we get into demo and um, there's a question as well will the one day special make a, a quilt for a king size bed okay so using all of these fabrics together would she be able to make a king right, size so we've quilt? we've got 18 fabrics. Yeah. Uh, we've got nine, uh, so you've got nine by 45. Um, thinking of area, it's... So it's a tricky one, to be honest. Four and a half Several yards. reasons, because it depends on what design you're looking at doing as well. Because if you're looking at quilting and cutting it up, each time you're losing some in the, the seam allowance, yes, aren't you? Yes, if you lose whole pieces, yeah. uh, you probably could, because you could go one, two, three, four across the top and four down. So if you went four across the top, that's going to give you uh, 88 inches across the top. Yes. That's a bit for seam allowance, so call it 84. And you then go four down. Mm -hmm. So you've got four times uh, 20 on the way down. So you've got, have you got about 76 on the way down? So that probably would actually, wouldn't yes, it? Yeah, it when would. you think about it. it. Yeah. So, so if you literally join them literally together, just as join they were, them, yeah. Or took them as large squares, cut them in half. Yes, you could do quite easily. And I yeah. think I reckon you'd still get enough if you cut them in half. Um, you'd actually get that uh, to make it fit a king size bed. Okay, do. There we go. Thank you very much for that, Jenny. I'll tell you a quick and a, an easy way for you to actually extend your usability, and it is using something like the strip rolls, to be honest. Very, very quickly, just want to mention these two, because these are a fabulous way. Yep. Separating your fabrics, but making yes. them go further, yes. isn't it? And it would, and if you joined, if you cut those in squares, so you're then going to get a bit left over, you could use the binding. Join them together with the strip rolls used as sashing, 
Um, so you might want to go for the black one, you might want to go for the white one, um, and that way that will stretch it a bit further. Th that's the thing, yeah. If you are in doubt, then these are brilliant. They can make your fabrics go further. You've got 40 pieces within there. You've got your black, obviously, as you can see, your black, and your mist is a slightly off-white, which I think is absolutely beautiful to work with your William Morrissey. So if you can stretch to these, maybe, just thinking, if you're to make a note of that item number and order tomorrow, you will have generated a £5 credit from your purchase of your one-day special, so knock a fiver off that tomorrow. If anybody asks, I will deny ever saying it. I, just saying I, that. I didn't hear that at all. Exactly. Well, you Jenny, know, we're going to come back to you for the demo. Idea. The <laughs> only trouble is if you were to do that tonight and then you wanted the William Morris ones tomorrow, they might have gone. That's it. So get your uh, fat quarters, get your one-day special today. That £5 credit you can spend tomorrow, and I can highly recommend that strip roll. Right. What I'm going to demonstrate, we've not got very much time left at all, okay. was a design from the Creative Tux and Textures book called okay. Crossing Over the Tux. Okay. And this you'll find in this particular book, which labours under the incredibly long title of Creative Tux and Textures for Quilts and Embroidery. Who on earth thought that up? It wasn't one of my <laughs> titles, I can assure you. And the company I wrote it for had to have this long title. Anyway, the book itself is great because it's got all sorts of ways of playing with fabric in. And one design is something called crossing over the tucks. And basically, what it is, is one fat tuck crossing over the fabric, crossing over another one. And you could, if you wanted to, actually make it into a very nice... Uh, through the lattice windows, so there's a project in there, and this is where the f one of the feature fabrics we've got would look fantastic because you just cut it up and lay it in the lattice work. So, how do you do a very simple version? I have a square of fabric, largish square, and I folded the square of fabric in half on the diagonal and I measured a line that was anything from an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half from the diagonal. This is approximately a 15 16 inch square. I was a bit canny about my line because the tuck is squashed and I happen to have an old blind slat here. You could use a ruler and so I simply used the blind slat as a ruler and measured slightly more than the width of this blind slat. But you could just use your regular rotary ruler and just measure a line. Jenny, just to warn you, we're just shy of a minute left right. on the hour. We're just going to have to wait for the eight o'clock show then. <laughs> Having done that stitching along this drawn line, what happens then is you squash the tuck flat and this is where you can then insert your ruler or your bit of blind up the fundamental orifice and there's nothing wrong with saying that and squashing it flat and you'll have to wait for eight o'clock it's a oh, cliff edge finish oh jenny you've left left us in suspense there <laughs> I don't know, the talk of rulers and orifices. There you go, that's how to end a show, isn't it? Um, I'm going to tune in myself just to see what happens. So, yeah, if you are going for your fabrics, you need your one-day special. Jenny, thank you so thank much. You Always a pleasure. Check out your baskets and don't forget your darker fabrics. You're going to use an orifice. <laughs>